Hey there fellow webmaster, I'm Christian from Rackner. And if you're new to Linux hosting using the command line, I'm going to make your life a lot easier with PHP My Admin as we dive into how to install it with a LIMP stack on Alma Linux operating system. So if you're ready to go ahead and take your website hosting to the next level using Linux, let's get into it. So before we jump into the installation process, let's quickly understand what phpMyAdmin is and why it is such a valuable tool for web hosting. phpMyAdmin is a web-based database management tool specifically designed for MySQL and MariaDB databases. It allows you to effortlessly handle your databases, tables, queries, and your permissions all from a convenient and user-friendly interface. Using PHP My Admin offers several benefits, especially for those hosting websites. First and foremost, it simplifies the management of your databases, making it easier to create, modify, and delete databases and tables. It also provides a robust query interface, enabling you to run complex SQL queries without needing to be an expert in the command line interface. With PHP My Admin, you can import and export databases effortlessly which is particularly helpful during website migrations or backups. Plus it offers features like user management, allowing you to create and manage user accounts with different privileges, making it an essential tool for multi-user environments. Oh, and before I forget, I'm going to assume that you already have your own server running with Alma Linux OS and a completely set up LIMP stack on it, okay? But if you haven't, no worries, we have a step-by-step -step guide in the description down below that will take you through the whole process of buying and setting one up. So just check out the links in the description down below before you get started with this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and move on to the exciting part, the step-by-step -step tutorial of installing PHP My Admin in a LIMP stack with Alma Linux OS. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have PHP My Admin up and running smoothly so let's go ahead, dig right in, and let me share my screen with you. So first, connect to your server via SSH. I'm using the SSH Bitvice client, but you can use any tool like PuTTY if you're on Windows or the terminal if you're on Mac OS or Linux. The commands should be the exact same no matter what, so don't even worry about it. Once logged in, what I do is always update my server packages by running the following command here. It may take a while depending on your internet speed, so just be patient. In my case, I've already updated my server earlier today, so it will show nothing here. But it might be different on your end, so just hang in there and let it happen. Once the update is done, let's go ahead and install some Linux tools if you haven't already, as we will need them to configure PHP by admin further. So to get started, just run the following command to install a nano editor, wget, and zip on your server. By the time of recording this video, phpMyAdmin is not available by default in the built-in Alma Linux repository. So you can either download it using an external source directly from the phpMyAdmin download itself to be safe or from a third-party repository like Remy along with the EPEL, but don't worry. These third-party repositories are well known in the Linux community and are very reliable. So in this tutorial, we will go ahead and use these. We will be installing from the Remy repository to install phpMyAdmin and the EPEL repository for the dependencies. To get started, run the following commands. Now it's time to install the phpMyAdmin package by the following command. Next, we need to configure the phpMyAdmin default configuration file, but before we do, let's create a copy of the config file to have as a backup. Run this command to do exactly that. After creating a backup, open the configuration file by running this command. Inside the file, replace this line with this one. And then once done, hit the control X enter to exit. And then when prompted to save the document, press Y to confirm. Next, to avoid PHP my admin error like this, the directory var lib php session should be owned by the user and group that nginx runs as, which is typically nginx. We can set the correct ownership permission by executing the following commands here. And then let's restart some LEMP services by running the following commands to apply to all the changes that we made. Now let's check the status of some of our LIMP stack services and we should be good to go if everything turns out well. To do this, just run this command here. 
As you can see, it is active and running completely fine. Now let's confirm if phpMyAdmin has been configured correctly. To do this, let's go ahead and open up a web browser and visit our server's IP address, followed by forward slash phpMyAdmin. Make sure you get the capitalization in there. I will put it in the description down below also. You should now see the phpMyAdmin login page as I see it on my screen now. So let's go ahead and log in using our database root credentials, which we have set up in the previous MariaDB installation tutorial on this channel. So let me enter my own credentials here. Let's see, and voila, I'm in. And there you have it. We've successfully installed phpMyAdmin on our LIMP stack with Alma Linux OS. And congratulations on taking this important step in embracing your future web hosting capabilities. Remember, if you want to learn more about web hosting and server management or any other tech related topics, our team's got you covered. At Racknerd, we have a wealth of knowledge and exciting services for your hosting needs waiting for you along with our experts who are available 24 seven, just visit racknerd.com. Moreover, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Rackman TV for more informative videos like this one. And as always, if you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy hosting.